Welcome back. One final point before we go tonight. So a college professor at the University of Illinois is claiming that mathematics perpetuates white privilege. Yes, apparently math is now racist. The professor's name is Rochelle Gutierrez. Yeah, there she is on the screen. And she just wrote a book. Brilliant marketing strategy, by the way. Say the stupidest thing in the world. Get a lot of media coverage for it. Probably sell some more books. Now, Professor Gutierrez is a math professor herself. And by math, she obviously doesn't mean actual math. To Professor Gutierrez, math is evidently an acronym for making up theories that are hogwash. This is Professor Gutierrez's theory, which she wrote about in her book. She says, on many levels, mathematics itself operates as whiteness. Who gets credit for doing and developing mathematics? Who is capable in mathematics? And who is seen as part of the mathematical community is generally viewed as white? Uh, wrong. Wrong on so many levels. Who gets credit for doing and developing mathematics? Mathematics operates as whiteness. Okay, first of all, we use Arabic numbers. Arabic numerals, they're called. Not Greek, not European. Arabic numerals, which Professor Gutierrez would know if she stopped virtue signaling for one second and cracked open a first grade arithmetic book. So her argument that the origin of math is white is just plain wrong. Then she says, curricula emphasizing terms like Pythagorean theorem and pi perpetuate a perception that mathematics was largely developed by Greeks and other Europeans. Well, no. The father of algebra is a man named Mohammed Ibn Musa al-Khwarizmi. That isn't the whitest name I've ever heard. Al-Khwarizmi made his home in Portland, the whitest city in America. Oh no, wait. Al-Khwarizmi didn't live in Portland. He lived in Baghdad, Iraq. The professor keeps going, though. She claims math makes people feel insecure, which evidently, according to her, is racism against minorities. She says, and I quote here, if one is not viewed as mathematical, there will always be a sense of inferiority that can be summoned. Well... If only people had the freedom to practice math and get better at it. Then she claims minorities have experienced microaggressions from participating in math classrooms where people are judged by whether they can reason abstractly. Then she asks, and this might be my favorite part, are we really that smart just because we do mathematics? Professor, the answer to that is yes, you are significantly smarter if you know how to solve mathematical equations. The reason we learn math in school is not just so we can solve functions for fun, it's to teach our brain how to think logically, something perhaps you should try sometime. Do you really want to ride an elevator to the top of a skyscraper that was built by architects who took trigonometry? Do you want to fly in an airplane whose jet engine was built by engineers who took the calculus of microaggressions in college? It's math. You don't get to be a show, social justice warrior. You get to teach your students about fractions and functions. You can't make up this kind of idiocy. Unless, of course, you are a tenured professor. Of course, Professor Gutierrez is tenured. Of course she is. This is why tenure is stupid. Professors like her keep their jobs for life, even after they say that math is racist. Professor Gutierrez finally concludes by saying we should change how we study mathematics because, she says, things cannot be known objectively. They must be known subjectively. No, professor, that's the great thing about math. It's just plain objective. Your opinion doesn't matter. And that's my final point tonight. You can reach me on Twitter at Liz underscore Wheeler. If you liked the show, please send me an email at OANN.com contact. In the meantime, catch us here tomorrow at 9 p.m. Eastern. And until then, have a good night.